just at DARPA alone, when I was there, that was probably the most complex and the most technically difficult. I had 17 programs, each of them simultaneously, not in a row, <laughs> 17 simultaneous programs. Each of them was addressing a different technical problem that we were trying to solve, something that we wanted to try to do. Each of those 17 had less than a 10% chance of success. That is what we call DARPA hard, when the technical success probability is less than 10%. They were all that way. That's why it was a DARPA. Every single one of those 17 programs had at minimum two different companies or teams of companies who were attempting to solve the problem by different methods. We, I, you know, it's such a great standard DARPA thing, but I love it, to have two different competing vectors in on a problem and see which one does the best. It's a great way to go, competing the different potential solutions. And we did this a lot. So each of the 17 programs had at least two different companies, sometimes teams of companies, sometimes three or four different companies in the lead, trying one, two, three, or four different solutions to see what's going to work. And each problem had less than a 10% chance of getting anywhere, much less finding a solution. That's a lot. Now that's complex. <laughs> that's a lot of moving parts. And every single one of those 17 programs, I had to sell them the resulting end successful product, and they were all successful in the end, I had to sell all of those into military forces, talking to the Army, talking to the Air Force, talking to the Navy, the Marines, Air Force Special Ops Command, sitting in front of two-star generals that are pretty sure that you're really not good for anything, and convincing them that you're building this amazing thing that's really going to help them out. And not only should they take it over, when it's finished and it's prepared, but they should actually do the enormous effort of creating an entire program around it themselves to continue to improve it. Just, just kind of take it over and keep going and keep making it better and make a thousand of them and deploy them, train people on them. You're not just asking them for money when you're selling into those services. You're asking them for a decade of time and massive effort. And that's the sales job I had to do. So that was complex. That was hard, which is a measure of technical risk. And it was complex, which is a measure of how many moving parts you have to keep track of, who's doing what, when, and how. How in the world did I do that? I